Hello Volo Riders, today we're talking about drum brakes, disc brakes, and electronic brakes. Which are the best and easiest to maintain? First, let's start with drum brakes. These are often found on scooters for beginners and shared scooters because they're enclosed and require no maintenance. Uh, they can last a long time, but the braking power isn't as strong because they can't dissipate the heat as easily. Uh, unfortunately, you can't tune drum brakes on scooters, so generally you need to replace uh, the entire component if any issues arise. Next, we have disc brakes. Most electric scooters have disc brakes, which provide the greatest stopping power, but are exposed and require some maintenance. Uh, there are two basic types of disc brakes, mechanical and hydraulic. These are actually a hybrid hydraulic, which is like a semi-hydraulic brake, but we'll get to that in a second. For now, let's just pretend they're mechanical. With mechanical disc brakes, the physical pressure you apply to the brake levers directly impacts how strong the brakes apply. On the other hand, with semi-hydraulic and hydraulic brakes, fluid inside the brake cables increases interior pressure, making it easier to apply the brakes with less physical effort. Mechanical disc brakes require some physical effort to engage, but have low maintenance needs. You should keep the rotor clear of debris and replace the brake pads and rotor if they become damaged or warped. Hydraulic disc brakes, on the other hand, are much easier to engage, but require some maintenance, such as refilling fluids. They also have a higher stopping power because they have more pistons, which means more surface area on the brake rotor for the pads to come in contact with. For example, the Cabo Mantis King GT has a two-piston disc brake, and the Dualtronics Limited has a four-piston disc brake. However, hydraulic brakes have moderate maintenance needs, as you need to maintain the same things as with mechanical brakes, but also need to understand when the brakes need to be bled or the fluid needs to be refilled to keep optimal performance. Another less talked about and less effective style of brake is electronic brakes. With electronic brakes, the motors create resistance against the tire's rotation, causing the scooter to slow down. With high-performance scooters, electronic braking isn't generally effective enough, which is why it's usually paired with drum or disc brakes and activated when you pull the brake lever. Most electric scooters have electronic braking, which you can turn off or enable in the P settings. So which one is right for you? It really depends on your needs, preferences, and budget. Each type of brake has its own strengths and weaknesses, and it's up to you to decide which one is the best fit for your electric scooter. Be sure to also consider how easy it is to maintain when making your decision. Thanks for watching. Send us your questions in the comments, like, subscribe, and visit us at voramotors.com. See you next time.